Play to Potential podcast. And moving along, uh, Katie, uh, I wanted to talk about this notion of a fresh start. Right? You talk about your conversation with uh, Prasad Sethi at Google, where you say that uh, Google offered its employees a wide range of benefits and programs designed to make their lives and jobs better and to solve problems like undersaving for retirement, overuse of social media, physical inactivity, unhealthy eating and smoking. But uh, the employees were not taking advantage of these schemes. So in that context, you talk about uh, the timing and the power of a fresh start. And you actually, in the book, you talk about how the fresh start could be applied in different contexts if we are creative about it. So could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. And thanks for giving me the chance to to talk about one of my favorite chapters in the book as well. Um, that meeting was really interesting. So I got to go present my research at Google, as you as you mentioned, um, about all of these different ways we could nudge behavior change and got this amazing question from Prasad Sethi about when was the ideal time. So sort of convinced that we should at Google, he said, be doing this nudging people towards more saving and, and healthier lifestyles and more productivity. But are there ideal times to do that was that was the question. And it it set me on a new research adventure because I thought it was such a good question and I didn't know an answer. I didn't believe there was an answer yet from academia, but I felt like we should provide one. It was such an interesting and important question. So I teamed up with um, my then PhD student, Heng Chen Dai, and also um, with uh, Jason Reese, who is uh, the, the CEO of Behavioralize and a former professor at HBS and at Wharton. And Jason Hengchen and I started thinking about what we knew already and what we could learn about when the ideal time is to encourage change and when are people most motivated just naturally to change in their own lives. What we found is that um, there are moments, this won't surprise you at all, that uh, feel more like fresh starts to people. And the one that we're all familiar with already is New Year's, right? This is a moment when around the world, people are setting resolutions at a higher rate than usual, trying to pursue goals at a higher rate than usual. And it feels like a fresh start. The psychology of New Year's is actually turns out to be familiar uh, and, and extend to many other moments. But the psychology of New Year's is you can say sort of, well, that was the old me last year. The old me couldn't achieve this, you know, right? The old me tried mm. to quit smoking and failed, but, but that was a whole different person. The new me and the new year can do it. And you feel this dissociation from your past failures and this renewed optimism as you open a new chapter in life. What we found is that New Year's is actually just one moment that has that new chapter, fresh start feeling. There are lots of other moments on the calendar and in life when we also feel we're turning a page and can get that same dissociation from past failures and, and motivation uh, and, and also the likelihood that we might actually step back and think big picture about our lives is greater. So some of those moments include, according to our research, the start of a new week or a new month, the celebration of holidays that feel like fresh starts in our culture, um, the celebration of birthdays. And of course, there's other research looks, looking not only at these sort of psychological or temporal markers that give us the sense of a clean slate and a fresh start, but if you physically change environments, that has not only psychological appeal and, and mm -hmm. help helps you, but it can literally disrupt routines in a way that's helpful as well. So we've shown people are more likely at these temporal landmarks, we call them, or new beginnings to do things like visit the gym or set goals on popular goal setting websites online about everything from their finances to their health, to their education. And if you encourage people to make a change at those moments, a moment that has a label on it, like, hey, you know, want to make a change on the first day of spring or after your next birthday, it turns out that's more attractive. People are more likely to do things like start saving in a retirement account when you invite them to or just pursue goals uh, beginning at those times when you give them those labels. Then if you invite mm. them to save at an, an identical moment or change at an identical moment, but don't it, don't even point out that it, it corresponds with the first day of spring or a birthday. So um, 
that was a really, I'd say, exciting line of research. And it points to the power of taking advantage of these moments in our lives if we want to make a change and encouraging others to make changes and providing with with the resources they need to make changes at those moments when we feel like we have a fresh start and and are therefore more naturally inclined to change. Hmm. 